Welcome back. Here's what you need to know to start your day. Cal Fire is making progress against a fire in Tehama County. It's called the Ranch Fire and it's burning off of Coyer Springs and Raglan Ridge Roads. It is currently 500 acres and Cal Fire says this morning it has it 5% contained. An evacuation advisory is in place for some people living near Mary Ellen Road and Coyer Springs Road. But important to note, this is not a mandatory evacuation. Cal Fire says no structures are threatened at this time. State firefighters have made big progress on several fronts. The Easy Fire in Simi Valley is now 100% contained. Cal Fire says it started last Wednesday and burned more than 1,800 acres before being extinguished on Saturday. The Hill Fire near San Bernardino is also 100% contained after burning about 628 acres. And the Kincaid Fire in Sonoma County is now 78% contained. That one has been burning for 10 days and has burned more than 77,000 acres. This Friday, November 8th, it marks the one-year anniversary of the campfire. Some of the events of the day include a groundbreaking for the Hope Plaza and a community meal by the World Kitchen. For a full list of all the events, head to our website, actionnewsnow.com. And also happening this evening, probably a very somber public showing of a PBS Nova special. It's called Inside the Mega Fire. Paradise Alliance Church is hosting that event. It's at 6 o'clock. The special is about the campfire and about the impacts of climate change and what they do to wildfires. There will also be a panel of regional fire experts and a discussion led by the filmmaker. Police are on the lookout for two inmates suspected of murder who escaped the Monterey County Jail. 21-year-old Santos Samuel Fonseca and 20-year-old Jonathan Salazar were both awaiting trial on unrelated murder charges along with other felonies. An investigation is underway to determine how they escaped, but at, that t at this time there are no details on the how that happened. Eleven Trump administration officials are scheduled to testify in the impeachment inquiry this week. Four of them today. Most are political appointees and they are not expected to show up as the White House is refusing to cooperate. Democrats plan to begin public hearings in the next two or three weeks with transcripts from private testimony released later on this week. Hundreds of prisoners will walk free today across Oklahoma as the state carries out the largest single day commutation of prisoners in the U.S. history. It is part of a deal made when voters and then the state legislature agreed that simple drug possession and nonviolent property crimes under $1,000 should be classified as misdemeanors and that offenders already serving felony sentences for those crimes should go free. Oklahoma has the highest incarceration rate of any state in the union. Police in Vietnam have arrested eight more suspects in connection with the deaths of 39 Vietnamese nationals who were found dead inside of a refrigerated truck container in the UK. British police said on Friday that all 39 victims were Vietnamese nationals. They initially said the victims were from China, but families from Vietnam contacted the authorities with concerns for their missing relatives.